Hi, in this video, I'm going to be answering a question I received from a viewer. As always, if you have any advice for this person, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Remember, people read the comments, and so when you leave a constructive comment, it does help other people also. Okay, I'm gonna open up the email here. A little bit longer. I have not read this email, by the way, so that makes it fun. So the person's name is anonymous because they said, Please do not use my name if you make a video, so I will not use their name. And the subject is a source of demotivation. Dear Math Sorcerer, I'm about to start a maths degree, but I'm considering changing subjects. I was excited for the degree, but after doing some research, I found out some information that is completely sucking my motivation away. This is maybe quite an uncommon source of a lack of motivation, but I hope you have some thoughts advice. I lost motivation after learning about the extreme disagreement at the foundation of mathematics. I found out about the different schools of Platonism, I guess I said that correctly, I'm not sure, formalism and intuitionism, and how some respected mathematicians even disagree with the concept of real numbers. I was looking forward to my maths degree as one looks forward to building a house. It was an unpleasant discovery to find underneath the plot of land I bought to build the house was a giant philosophical sinkhole. Previously, I had been excited to possibly extend the house into a mansion with postgraduate study on what I thought was stable terrain. Do you have any thoughts? As a perfectionist, I will not derive the same satisfaction getting a question right, laying a brick neatly for the house, while knowing the ground beneath my feet is hollow and swampy. Do you have any problems with this metaphor? Love your videos, sincerely and they don't sign it they just say sincerely comma and there's no name um so i think that the fact that you're even thinking about this says that you should study math i mean wow and also your email is extremely well written i mean wow so i think don't worry about it i think you should i think you should definitely pursue math i think the fact that you're so concerned with how correct and with how you can contribute to math and build on this foundation, I think that shows that you actually care about mathematics and you really care about the subject and you appreciate it and you think it's beautiful. And I think you should study it. Don't let what other people think about math affect your decisions, right? Your, your relationship with mathematics, in, in my opinion, should be your relationship with mathematics, right? You should have some type of of personal relationship with math. You know, when you pick up a math book and you read something and you understand it and you think, wow, that's really interesting, that's something that you get from math, I'm thinking. That's something I get from math and it's something that makes me feel good. Um, and it just works your mind in ways that, I, I don't know of another subject that works my mind in the way math does. And for me, that's one of the reasons I like math. And it sounds to me like you're concerned with the foundations. And honestly, myself, I am not super concerned with that. Um, I think the foundations of math were built by great minds. And I mean, there are some basic notions in math, but I think it's pretty rock solid. I think it's pretty rock solid. I do have a recommendation for you though, since you're really into um, math and the foundations. This is a book here that I've been actually reading. And I have it here because I've been reading it. It's called What is Mathematics? And it's by Richard Courant. And one of the subscribers here on the channel uh, recommended this. So I went online and I bought it. And it wasn't super cheap. I, I paid uh, quite a bit of money for this one. And I might, this might be the first edition. I'm not sure. It's really old. And this gives you an overview of different areas of math. Smells really good. Great book. I'll leave a link in the description for you in case you decide to get it, but I think you should definitely stick to math. Based on your email, continue with mathematics. And for me, personally, you know, all those foundational disagreements between people are not an issue because I don't look at math as, you know, this is what other people think about it. I kind of look at it as, this is my personal relationship with mathematics, and I like mathematics. I like solving math problems. Um, you know, everything is logically built on a foundation. And I, I just don't get in, in involved in those little 
details and foundational mathematics. You certainly can, and you certainly can be interested in that. It's just something that I've personally never you know, d d delved into. It's not something I've actually explored deeply. Hopefully my comment uh, was helpful in some way. Um, I think there's a lot of really beautiful math out there, and I think it's correct. And that's one of the wonderful things about math is that you know, it's all logically structured and correct. Whether or not there are people who disagree, well, there's always going to be people who disagree, not only in math, but in life, in the world, in politics, in religion. People always disagree on things. But math is one of those things where I feel like it's correct. And it's about right and wrong. It's not about opinions. I hope my comment has been helpful. If anyone else has insight onto this topic, uh, perhaps better insight than I have, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Good luck.